This video is a, uh, a short recipe on how to make my Cajun Spice Mix, which we'll be using down the road. Enjoy! Hey everybody, uh, today I am going to show you how I make my Cajun rub. Um, I use this in a lot of recipes, uh, chicken, uh, pork, rice, anything. Uh, that is Cajun style uh, black and catfish, which I will be making here in the near future, um, also use this rub. So it's really versatile. It will definitely please the crowds. Um, so let's, let's get started. Um, it's super easy to make. We are going to add a couple tablespoons of a bunch of spices, and it makes uh, quite the fiery mix. I have all my spices laid out. Um, we're going to start with some onion powder. So this is two tablespoons of onion powder. Next, we have garlic powder. We are also going to go with two tablespoons of that. Third ingredient is dried oregano. And once again, that's two tablespoons. Next ingredient is dried basil, another two tablespoons. Next we have the cumin. So my take on this is I use a little more than maybe called for in a lot of Cajun spice recipes. So I go with four tablespoons and that is simply because I love cumin. So we're going to go with four tablespoons of cumin. Next on the list is uh, one tablespoon of dried thyme. Let's get that in there. Oop. I always remove the shakers from these bottles because I tend to mix my spices up beforehand. So having the thing removed, I just make big batches of my favorite spice combinations. Um, saves time in the evenings and there's less guesswork in my opinion. So one tablespoon of dried thyme. All right, next, black pepper. So um, I've said it before, and I will say it right now. If you're going to be using black pepper, please, please grind it fresh. If you need large amounts, we're about to give ourselves one tablespoon here. Um, make sure uh, I, I tend to get away from the uh, pepper mill and just go right to a grinder so I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna put our grinder up here and I've found to get a tablespoon you can roughly or put in a nice well-rounded tablespoon of peppercorns and it'll come out about right now for this recipe in particular others may differ um, 
I want it pretty fine, so we're going to grind it a lot. And I might turn off the sound because this is probably going to bother you, but. Look at that. Okay, so indulge yourself right now and smell that. Huh. So much better than pre-ground pepper. So let's get our tablespoon in there. And I'll set this aside. I will use this tonight. Um, you know, we, we use black pepper on everything. So I will, that little bit that's left over, I will use it. So there's our black pepper. One tablespoon of white pepper. Now I've been caught in the past without having any white pepper around. I I do believe that it adds something, and I do believe that it's different. And um, but if you're in a pinch, just substitute more black pepper. It's not that different. Okay. All right, uh, five tablespoons of paprika. Now, <clears throat> I like hot paprika. It's very hard to find, especially in a grocery store. You can order it online. Um, smoked paprika is okay also. I'm just using plain Hungarian paprika that uh, you can get from the store. So we're gonna do five tablespoons of that. There you go. It's not an exact science. If you have a spice that you like more than others, uh, you know, feel free to uh, amp it up. Last but not least, we have... Huh. Whoops, almost missed. I almost missed the most important one. Uh... And that's your cayenne. That's your heat. Um, we're putting in, this is a mix, and this will get you many recipes out of it, but we are using a full tablespoon of cayenne pepper in this. Because um, I you want that heat. If you have spice lovers, amp it up. But in this, this will, this will be great. It'll be spicy. But it'll also be, depending on the how much you put, how much of the seasoning you put on, it'll also be pretty good. For a general audience so we'll go ahead and throw that in there there's our cayenne and last but not least three tablespoons of kosher salt That looks good, and I wish you could all smell how it smells right now. So, usually to start, I'm just going to make sure it's all blended nicely with a fork. Um, make sure you break up any clumps at this point. So when you, when you go to apply this to whatever meat or whatever item you want to, um, make sure it has some oil on it. Um, most of these spices are oil soluble. So if you want that to kind of release their spices and uh, you know start working its way onto the meat so it gets a, a real good coating, Make sure, like with chicken, I would rub it with a little olive oil first. Same with fish. Um, 
it's what's going to make it that little extra good. Okay, so that's pretty well blended. Now, I don't put this into any sort of fancy shaker or anything like that. Um, I'm going to take my little thing here. I just have an old spice container. Um, and it has it has a shaker lid. No need to go to the store to buy anything. If you use as many spices as I do, you'll have a few of these laying around. When you go through one, just set it back on the shelf. Use it later. I'm going to spoon this in here to make it a little easier. Whoops. As usual, I made a bit of a mess. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. All right. We, I managed to get most of it in. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now, you can see and make a whole thing of it, but this will last me I don't know, a couple months probably, a month or two maybe, depending on how much cajun I'm doing, which is usually a lot, but um, you know, this is a very, very pungent, very powerful. Uh, the more you use, the hotter and more spice it's going to be, but it, it's, a, it's just a great all-purpose cajun mix, uh, much better than anything you can get in the store. I'll tell you uh, very soon how to use this on some certain items. Look, uh, look ahead for videos uh, that require it. Talk to you later.